Monday, December 24. The Promise of Restoration. Question. Read Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 through to 10. What promise is given to Israel? And what does it say about the eternal dwelling place of the redeemed? Isaiah 11, beginning at verse 1. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play with the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea." And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, who shall stand as a banner to the people, for the Gentiles shall seek him, and his resting place shall be glorious. The Bible begins with the story of the creation of the earth, Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, famously beginning with, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. It is a description of a beautiful and harmonious world entrusted to our first parents, Adam and Eve. A perfect world and home for the human race whom God had created. The Bible's last two chapters also speak of God's creating a perfect and harmonious world for redeemed humanity. Revelation chapter 21 and chapter 22. But this time it is more accurate to say recreation, the restoration of the earth from the ravages of sin. In many places, the Bible declares that this eternal home of the redeemed will be a real place, not an imagined fantasy or dream. The redeemed will be able to see, hear, smell, touch and feel a new experience, a new life. The prophecy of Isaiah 11 is a beautiful passage foretelling the coming of the Messiah, who will create a new era. He will end all violence and usher in an eternal peace. The reign of God on this new earth will establish universal harmony. Question. Read Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through to 5. What will disappear forever as a result of this new harmony? Revelation 21 beginning at verse 1. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Ellen White wrote of what awaits the redeemed in The Story of Redemption, page 432 and 433.
As the years of eternity roll, they will bring richer and more glorious revelations of God and of Christ. As knowledge is progressive, so will love, reverence and happiness increase. The more men learn of God, the greater will be their admiration of His character. As Jesus opens before them the riches of redemption and the amazing achievements in the great controversy with Satan, the hearts of the ransomed beat with a stronger devotion, and they sweep the harps of gold with a firmer hand, and ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands of voices unite to swell the mighty chorus of praise. And so, to finish the day, What are ways that we can understand even now the character of God? How does living in harmony and unity with others reveal something about the character and nature of God?